Yeah, budget, like uh, other committees have done. Um, the committee met and we have deliberated on the on the budget. And we made the amendments where it was needed. We, we tampered with it in a, in a way that um, we feel uh, we help the nation. You know, uh, one good thing about democracy is that uh, there's check and balances. So. And the essence of the budget defense for them to lay before us what the, the way look, they look at issues, they will look at it as representative of the people. And that is me why in this budget, like we did last year, we called the attention of the executive, indeed the minister, to the need of airstrip across the country to be rehabilitated and developed. Because, um, yes, we have gone through almost two years of economic recession, which is a global problem, emanating from um, the COVID. Now we must be thinking of how to accelerate economic development of our country, social economic development. And that is why the airstrip must be rehabilitated. Like I was arguing there, you don't have to get uh, a billion or two billion to construct the airstrip. No, it doesn't work that way. In many nations of the world that I've visited, airstrip are just a landing facility that is basically important. That's the, that's the most important aspect of whether the airport is serving a big terminal of uh, 10 billion or a terminal of 100,000, what matter is how good is the landing facility? So if you have a good runway for airstrip, you may not be able to uh, accommodate a Boeing series, but it could accommodate a shuttle flight of 50 passengers. And I think that's what we need in Nigeria. And that's the argument I was making there that we have decided that let us open up the country by having um, uh, airstrips. And most importantly is the fact that some of these airstrips were constructed 40, 50 years ago. Okay, the Okija, um, Uli Okija airstrip is good because you will open up Newe as um, Anambra as a state and the south is more. When you have uh, airstrip that could take 50 passengers to land, 50 passengers to take off. We do not have to look for a boy series that will be looking for 100 passengers, 200 passengers before you move. So if you have uh, a 50-seater aircraft, it could land and pick 30 passengers, and there's no loss, you know? But when you wait for a Boeing series uh, before you construct airport, you are not helping the Nigerian nation. We should not be looking at um, uh, airstrip uh, or aviation from the, from the level of America. We have to graduate, we have to grow. And the way to do is, we must have airstrip in place. So we, are, we propose Uli uh, Okija airstrip, we propose Zuru airstrip, um, Zaria airstrip, uh, Ajakuta uh, airstrip, um, uh, quite a number of them, you know, Mubi airstrip. These airstrip are needed because they go to the hinterlands and it will enable people to be able to move goods and, and, um, and people out of those areas. So I think that is the basic thing to help to accelerate socioeconomic development of our nation. And that was the argument I was making. We do not have to look for 10 billion or 5 billion to construct airports. What we need is just to have a standard runway that will make a, a 50 seater aircraft to land. If you have landed in uh, Ajakuta, you know, uh, um, Ajakuta Airstrip, you discover that it's just, um, there's no, they don't even have a terminal there. But they have landed there before. And uh, it was very smooth. But it is bad now. So if we rehabilitate those air, airstrips, I can pump into Ajakuta, and Ajakuta to local Jama is taken, just about 40 minutes back. So, so you, you can have too many of these airstrips, and you will open up the country, so you don't have to be waiting for Boeing series. Get the propeller uh, planes. They will do the same service. But you know in this country, people want to display affluence. You know, we have a big terminal. It doesn't, that will not help the country. Give us basic facilities that will perform the same function like the bigger ones, very simple. Most uh, African countries, West African countries, they don't have some of this kind of airport we have here. And the point I was making is that what the advantage I have when I speak is my privilege as a journalist. I've traveled, I've traveled to what close to 30 countries. So, so when I'm talking, I'm talking against the background of the countries I've visited within and outside Africa. So I don't just talk because I want to talk. I talk based on what I've seen elsewhere and they're functioning. 
So we can make that to function. We must face the reality that the time of uh, um, uh, uh, excessive spending is over. We must get those things that we need that will give, perform the same purpose. We don't have to be looking at America uh, standard. Go, go, go there. That's the argument I'm making, and I'm happy that uh, we have succeeded in putting quite a number of these airstrips. And the essence is to make sure that they meet the needs and the aspiration of our people and they help. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, no, you talk about, you see when you talk about the uh, airstrip, uh, we'll not be looking at it from uh, completing it now. What matters is when you start a project, next year become ongoing. So, you know, but if you don't start at all, you are not, it means the project is not, it's not available. But once it's already in the budget, every year they vote money for it and make sure it's completed. That is the essence of, of having a budget. Thank you.